Hi, I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl, and welcome to the last part of Physics Riddles with my friend, the queen of imperfect robots, Simone Yetch. If you haven't seen the last part, I've got a link in the description and a card and, you know, all the good stuff. Here's a recap of the second riddle and the answer. All right, you're sitting in a boat holding a rock, and it's a rock that will sink in water. You throw it off of the boat into the water and it sinks. Mm -hmm. Does the water level go up? go down or stay the same? So I'm thinking that when you have it in the boat, it's mm -hmm. the weight of the rock that matters mm -hmm. because that's like what's weighing the boat down and pressing the water out. Displacing some water. Yeah, displacing some water. But when you throw it off, it's the volume of the rock that matters. Because so now the volume is displacing the water. Yes. I mean, if it's one of those, you know those rocks that float, like pimpstian in Swedish? Well, but I did say that it okay. sinks. Okay, okay, okay. okay it sinks. Yeah, okay. so I see what you're getting at, but part of the important setup of the question mm -hmm. is that the rock sinks. Mm -hmm. The weight of the stone is going to displace more water than the volume of it, and that is because, that's because it's, uh, it's more dense than the water. I like how you're thinking. Yeah, no, so I think that the water level is going to sink because if you would just have a barrel of water or a mass of water you would have it in the boat and then you'd throw it on the side that wouldn't affect it because that same volume of water weighs as much as the as you the displace other volume. yeah but the difference is that the rock is heavier it just is more dense than water yeah is that correct yes oh! <laughs> yes yeah bye, -bye. Yeah, that was exactly correct reasoning. Thank you. I actually made a video about this one and the way that I like to remember it is I think of like an, a really extreme case. Mm -hmm. So if you have like a super, super, super heavy rock, but it's really small. Yeah. So you imagine a rock made out of like black hole material. Mm -hmm. If you put that in your boat, your boat is gonna, it's gonna sink really far down into the water and that will push the water level up really far. And then when you throw it overboard, the boat will come way far back up and the water level will go mm -hmm. down because it won't displace much water once it falls in the water. I feel like overall that's such a good approach to problem solving or just taking it to one of the extremes and being like, does this reasoning make sense? Yeah. In the extreme cases. No. Second question. Oh, there's more. There's more. <laughs> what is the difference between a servo motor and a DC motor in how it functions and how you as a user use it? Well, I'm going to guess that a DC motor, you put direct current through it. Okay. A DC motor. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Mostly, I mean, I failed water. so hard. No, 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 Take you're doing my good. Star no, away. keep your star. Don't. They're non-returnable. <laughs> But what's, what's the difference? I mean, there are a lot of technical differences between servo motors and DC motors, but for, for the use case of it, DC motors are very easy to control the velocity of them or the speed of them. Okay. Um, so how, how fast they spin. Whereas servo motors, you control the position. So a servo motor you would want to use in one of those claws that goes and picks up the animals. Mm -hmm. Like you want it to be in a specific location. Yeah. But then you don't want a good claw that actually picks up the animals because you don't want any of the children to win any prizes. Is. No, because you just hate the world. Because you're terrible corporate yeah. monsters. No. We should build a claw machine for the greater good that picks it up every time That's everybody a, wins. That is a fantastic idea, but I have a feeling that if you tried to do it, <laughs> you'd be like really well intentioned and like oh, you would end up beheading the time. <laughs> that would be such a fun project. Would Having it? a claw machine, it actually got it, but then it just like completely crumples <laughs> everything and gives it to you. I might have to build that. I'm gonna just remember that it started right here. Yes. This is payback time. But this you might you might have this one. I always confuse the two. It's okay. a trivial question. Okay. What's the difference between a bit and a byte? Oh, I confuse them as well. Okay, so one of them is eight of the other. Mm -hmm. Which um, one's which? A bit is smaller and a byte is larger. So a byte is eight bits. Am I right? You got it! Thank you! Oh, oh, oh my god, oh, it's yeah. you. Oh, you got uh -huh. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> All the I got it. If we got, what do you think people would think that we had just gone to? I don't know, maybe to the dentist and we had to pull out a lot of teeth. I was thinking like we taught first graders and we were like, you oh, can put really? these wherever you want. And they were like, just put it on your body. <laughs> yeah. Last question. Bonus question. <gasps> 
Is this when I level up in my physics game? This is when you level up. So you have two sticks. It takes an hour to burn each stick. If you wanted to time an hour, for example, you could just burn the whole stick. How do you time 45 minutes? And they burn at varying rates, so you couldn't just like mark it in half and say, okay, it's burned halfway, so now it's been mm -hmm. along the length of the stick, it burns at different rates, so you couldn't just like gauge when it's halfway or when it's like three quarters of the way. Mm -hmm. Two sticks. Two sticks. You say, Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Starting now. <laughs> In 45 minutes, we're gonna be like, what? <laughs> Ooh, you can burn them from both ends. Mm -hmm. uh, that, ooh, because that, then you can time half an hour. Mm -hmm. Burn one from both ends. Or like, if you need one and a half hours, I got you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only be 45 minutes late. Ooh, what if you, okay. Ah, okay, I got it. You burn one of them for both ends, uh -huh. one from one end. When the one that burns from both ends is burnt out, you turn like the other end of the longer one. Girl. Yeah? Yeah. Oh! You will still acknowledge that you know me in public. Oh, where's your gold star? Oh, yes, yes. Where's oh, your gold star? Yeah, you get this one. Oh. Well, it's a little bit. Oh, we ran okay. out. Oh, it's yeah, okay. it's right in the middle. Okay. That was amazing. Not that I expected you to do poorly. It's just like <laughs> I put you on the spot in front of a camera and asked you some tough questions. Good job. Pound it. Thank you. Alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Time to end this video. Yeah. Should I do it out? Yeah. <laughs> We're losing it. All right. We need to wrap uh, this uh, bag together. This bag of crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much, Simone, for letting me put you through that. Thanks for having me. This, this was fun. It was super fun. Yeah, I feel the physics part of my brain being like, <gasps> it's blossoming. <laughs> just a, just a little. Hope. I hope someday to work on a robot with you. Yeah. I've got plenty of ideas. I'm <laughs> and thank you so much for watching this madness. Uh, subscribe if you want more physics videos. Usually they're more physics-y, but this is fun. And hit the notification button, I guess. They do that. People do that if you want more notifications. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. YouTube keeps changing things up. I'll hit the notification button on your <laughs> channel. You should get notified when yeah, you have videos. Yeah, no, no. I'd love to get notified. <laughs> and check out Simone's channel. And happy physicsing! Yay! It feels weird because we're at your channel, but we're yeah, but we're at we're, my we're, house. We're at your house. Yeah, it's a way to be so somebody's exciting. guest. You're just <laughs> coming into their house and being like, "No, this is my show." <laughs> Here we go. I don't think we're gonna be able to get through the filming this because no. <laughs> I can't look at you. God. <laughs> How are we ever? I don't even know what's funny. Your grandma is Italian. <laughs>